Okie doke. Uh, today I'm gonna kind of show you how we cut the Lexan and polycarbonate into the size sheets we need for our molds. Now, before we used to take nice drywall T square, put a mark on you know the width, length, whatever we needed, put the T square down, score the plastic with a utility knife. And then you come over and like you do with glass, you'd have your line sit here on the edge of the, the counter and then you would just snap it down and then cut the rest to go through the protective sheeting on it. And uh, you'd have your piece. And you'd do that with the full eight foot sheet. We don't do that anymore. Nope. Let me show you what we do now. It's much better. Okay, this is how we do it now. And you see I've put a line on the Lexan sheet. This is gonna be a little tough to do one handed. Well, I'm going to show you. I should have a tripod here. But we're going to use this Malco shear. <laughs> this baby cuts right through it like butter. <laughs> and that's what we do down the line. Cut right through it. It's kind of hard to do this one handed though. All right, I'll show it again here. Got my, we'll set it on the, have the bottom blade set on the countertop here. Should be able to do it. So that's how we, that's how we do it. Uh, Use it a little bit better with, uh, when I have another hand free to hold the plastic, but it goes through it just really easy. I'm going kind of slow here because I'm doing one handed. Normally I'd have my hand on the other side of the plastic and just boop, zip right through it. But this is way easier. We used to cut these and trim these all out with a bandsaw, but that makes a huge mess. So I don't recommend a bandsaw as well because it just, you have particles everywhere, dust issues and stuff like that. So don't do that. Uh, use the, you know the blade or you know way of cutting it and <clears throat> snapping it or use something like this is way way easier it's either that or you got to get a big huge metal shear machine to do it you cut it with one big stomp or you have an electric or hydraulic shear to cut through it um, that costs a lot of money this was about 200 something dollars for this so uh, cost wise this is a lot more effective and space wise don't need an electrical or, you know, some space for this big shear machine to be at, so. One thing I should mention before I get ready to do the next cut here is that this is 030 thickness, zero, uh, 0.030 inches thickness Lexan. We also use the 040. Now, the shears for vinyl are rated for like 050. So this is only going to be good for certain thicknesses, up to a certain thickness of polycarbonate. So probably once you get around 050, yeah, that's going to be a little bit, you know, tough to start using these anymore on it. Uh, don't really know, but I would imagine it's going to get a little tougher to cut. But for this 030 and 040, works great. Goes right through it. No problem. Uh, I had actually called up the company Malco. They're actually in Minnesota where I'm at. And asked them, and they had no information regarding doing polycarbonate at all. But they've got their metal shears that have a little bit different blade style, and that they didn't really say anything about that. They hadn't tested it with it, but they did recommend actually using the vinyl ones instead that they have for doing this. And I imagine it might be because these blades are a lot sharper, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how, what the difference exactly is and how, what the, I mean, this part looks about the same. Looks about the only difference between them is the blades between their sheet metal shears and their vinyl cutting shears. So you might be able to, if you're doing metal work as well, you might be able to get away with doing the metal ones, you know, and have a dual purpose tool for yourself. But I got the vinyl one since I'm not really doing any metal work. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.